Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, did you ever wonder why we didn't see from Amazon Games during Summer Game Fest any kind of promotion regarding Throne and Liberty? We were all kind of wondering that. Actually, I was really disappointed why we didn't see during Summer Game Fest some kind of trailer announcement, right? And now, like, what, 11 days after Summer Game Fest, we have get officially confirmed global release date, September 17th. We were all wondering that. Nevertheless, Amazon Games and NCSoft, actually, they did promote Throne and Liberty on Summer Game Fest. Just not publicly, within the trailer. I can show you here some very interesting information revealed today from MMORPG.com and also from Tech Raptor. People over there from these websites, right, reporters, they were playing the game. Amazon Games did actually promote Throne and Liberty during Summer Game Fest 2024, just not with the trailer. We have seen that prices for the trailers were really extreme. And yeah, maybe that was the reason why they didn't put any kind of trailer. Nevertheless, they did their job. They did promote the game. And I will talk about that in the next few minutes. I will show you two different interviews with developers of the game, actually with the people from Amazon Games, uh, so from publisher, and I will show you some interesting information within these interviews. Before we start, let me just say, subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of MMORPG videos, and of course, Throne and Liberty videos in the future. Okay, let's start with this tweet on official Twitter account of Throne and Liberty. Just a few hours ago, uh, MMORPG.com retweeted, right? Kazuma had a chance to go hands-on with the latest build of Throne and Liberty here in the West during Summer Game Fest and had the chance to chat with the developers about the upcoming MMO. Interesting, right? So come on, right? This was, this was really surprising. I have noticed that today. We were all wondering, come on, where are the trailers? What is happening? Look at this now. Also, we have here Tech Raptor, Throne and Liberty Preview, a good uh, World of Warcraft alternative. Interesting title. If you are looking for a new MMORPG to sink your teeth in, keep Throne and Liberty on your radar. Check out our preview from Summer Game Fest. So this is preview from Austin Sutter, right? I hope I have pronounced a good the name of this gentleman. Also from Summer Game Fest, different website. So I will not read to you this full interview. Don't worry about that, right? There is many things here to say. They had interview uh, together, MMORPG.com, with a globalization design manager from Amazon Games, Daniel, Daniel Lafuente, and head of third-party publishing at Amazon Games, Mer Lee Kwai. So what they said, actually, many interesting information about the game. I wouldn't see anything surprising, you know, nothing too huge. I wouldn't say anything, you know, big surprise regarding Throne and Liberty. Here on the end of this interview, most interesting thing regarding patches, actually version of the game, which we will have, right, uh, for global version of the game, difference from Korea. That was the most interesting part of conversation I have found within this interview. So let's check it out. When asked, about content updates releasing simultaneously between all regions at some point in time in the future, La Fuente mentioned that this was the dream. However, he stated that that team didn't want to compromise game quality, specifically localization, to make this happen. We want to be able to get it as close as possible, he said, and we will see if we can. The team also spoke to possible preventive measures that will be taken against bots as not to have a repeat of low star. However, they couldn't disclose what methods they have intent to use, only that this was something that team acknowledged and they are the most prepared they have been. Hopefully this means that the launch and lifespan of the game won't be plagued with both accounts. Throne and Liberty is set to be released in North America and Europe in 2024. It is already available in Korea. So this part of the interview is, uh, is actually saying to us they will try to have patches regarding global version of the game as close as possible to, Korea, uh, to Korean version of the game, but it is possible that maybe we will be like a global version of the game, us here, right, globally, a little bit behind Korea. Maybe patch or two, maybe three, few patches, right? I, I can say that is nothing surprising because as Ion veteran player, I can confirm to you, for example, interesting uh, situation. Ion is another game from NCSoft, old MMORPG. I'm playing that uh, game for a long time. I can play it in Korea, North America, and Europe. I can tell you, for example, interesting situation regarding Ion, also MMORPG, also game from NCSoft, 
also game right in Korea playable and globally. For example, in Ion, we are always a little bit late, a little bit behind Korean version of the game. After they release original patch note in Korea regarding Ion, developers always uh, tweak a little bit patch notes, uh, change a little bit, not too much. It's basically, stay, uh, it's basically still the same patch note. And then after that, maybe a few months after, uh, we are getting that patch note in North America and Europe, right? So that is for Ion and Ion Classic also. So we are like few patches always behind Korean version of the game regarding Ion. So I think that we could see a similar situation regarding that, also regarding Throne and Liberty, that will be maybe few patches after, right? Which is good. There is nothing wrong with that. Actually, that would be a very good idea. They can use Korean servers as PTR servers, public test realm. They can check like new update, release it first on Korean servers, maybe adjust some things after release it, uh, releasing it in, in Korea, right? Maybe fix some things and then ship that fixed version of the update, improved version of the update, few months after, right? Release in Korea, ship that update uh, to global version of the game, to us, that we get better and improved version of some new big update. I think I, that's actually, I think actually that's, that is a good idea and there is nothing wrong to be a little bit late behind Korea. It would be even uh, worse, it would be worse that we get updates, for example, in the same time. I mean, that would, uh, that would be looking good on one way. But what if update have some kind of bugs or big issues? Then it would be a problem. On this way, if you are always a little bit behind Korea, few months, let's say a few months, maybe two or three months, few patches, right? Two or three big patches, right? Not small one, weekly ones, right? That would be perfect. We would always get in global version of the game, better and improved patch notes, right, version of the game. So that is nothing bad. Regarding bot problem, uh, there is nothing to worry about that. I think, uh, I mean, we should worry regarding global version of the game to explain that clearly. Here in Korean version of the game, I can tell you, I'm playing this uh, game every evening on service in Korea. Check my live streams on Twitch every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time. I'm live streaming and playing this game on service in Korea every evening, mandatory since release, December 7, 2023. And also check my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe. I already have close to 300 videos regarding Throne and Liberty, guides for new players, uh, news updates and I'm preparing lots of guides for global release of this title. Anyway, regarding bots here in the game, just to explain, right, on a Korean version of the game, NCSoft, I will not say they have completely eliminated that problem, they didn't completely el eliminate this problem, but they did clean the game really good, right? I remember back then, if, uh, two, three or uh, two, three months back, there was a really big issue with bots over there on service in Korea, but now it's much better. They have banned lots of bot accounts and also they have implemented NCSoft anti-bot uh, artificial intelligence system. It's a bot which is killing other bots in the game, right? It's one bot, uh, Blue Knight, running around on the map, killing other bots. So they are combining uh, AI bot, uh, artificial anti-bot, and also banning bots, and they have cleaned the game. So I don't think that bots will be an issue, really, but absolutely. Look, this is a free-to-play game. Throne and Liberty is a free-to-play game, so we can expect, like in many other MMORPGs, free-to-play games, you remember what happened in Lost Ark, that was really bad. Over there, regarding both uh, situation in Lost Ark, uh, I remember at one point in time, there was more than 850,000 active players on Steam database. That was not correct number of players. There was like 600,000 bots in the game. Amazon Games and Smilegate RPG, right? They have fight against uh, bot accounts over there in Lost Ark, a global version of the game. They have removed lots of them, but that was really big issue in Lost Ark, right, for a long time. Now. I think that will not happen with Throne and Liberty, not only because of anti-bot AI system, which NCSoft have, but also regarding other measures. You can see here, they have intention, right? They have acknowledged that problem, which is very important before global release. And I'm certain they will handle this uh, bot uh, problem uh, on a good way. So boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, for this evening, just to let you know, if you were wondering, because I did wonder, why we didn't see any kind of promotion from Amazon Games during Summer Game Fest 2024? Well, we didn't see any kind of trailer publicly, but promotion was there. These are only two websites for now, which we can see publicly, right? 
uh, how they can promote the game. Actually, people have played the latest version of the game during Summer Game Fest here from TechRaptor, right? And from MMORPG.com. You can read this full article. I will put link in the description below video. You can read all of these uh, two, ar uh, two articles. I can find for now only do, uh, these two articles. But I guess there could be more articles, right, uh, revealed in the future. So Amazon Games did promote the game during Summer Game Fest 2024, just not with trailer. They did promotion within different kind of gaming websites, gaming journalists, and they did promote the game during Summer Game Fest, right? Interesting, right? So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, for this uh, evening to give you this information, if you are interested in to throne and liberty, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch, and see you soon with another throne and liberty video.